So here we see Italy, and like most of Northern Europe, it's in the Northern Hemisphere temperate region, we get a hump in late winter. And the USA is very similar, and then a fall off. Interestingly, Peru and Brazil look very different. They're in the Southern Hemisphere tropical area, and have a very different mortality curve, deaths per million. And very interesting in terms of lockdown is, Peru did a hard lockdown, well documented, way back in March. So they were way ahead of the curve. Brazil, quite controversially and famously, their president overturned the lockdown back in March, and they've been criticized greatly. Very interesting to observe, though, that their deaths per million, shape of curve and everything, is practically the exact same as Peru. So lockdown doesn't seem to explain anything here. Let's look a little further. This is a superb book. I've put a link below. Edgar Hope Simpson, a doctor and researcher who set up the first influenza-like illness transmission laboratory in the UK in the 1930s. And he spent 50 years studying this question of seasonality and triggering. And the book is available below. But he pulled out this diagram and it shows the North temperate regions, America and Europe, also has the Southern tropical regions like Peru and Brazil. And he looked at the seasonal behavior of influenza-like illnesses. So we look again at our graph that we just had there and we'll superimpose Hope Simpson's analysis or graph above and below for the South tropical hemisphere. Then we'll draw the shape of the curve that occurs naturally in the outbreaks. We'll do it for the same for the southern tropical. And then we'll do a little trick. We'll just move the curve shape down. It's a pretty good match. And we'll move the south tropical curve shape up. Very good match. But I'm sure it's just a coincidence. And I'm sure Hope Simpson spent nearly a half century studying this and explaining it. Uh, for no point whatsoever.